Hi. For the next coffee, we're going to make an espresso. The espresso grind is much finer than your filter grind. It's not quite a Turkish coffee, but it's certainly not a filter coffee either. The espresso grind that we're going to use today is our Guatemala chocolate block. And because we're trying to make espresso, we're going to make the coffee in a manner that isn't quite the same as what we've made it in the past. Before, I showed you how to turn the plunger upside down so you're pushing straight down with the water and the coffee inside the element before you push. For this espresso, we're going to make it upside down, just like this. This is the professional way to use an AeroPress. It's a little bit more difficult to do because you've got to balance a cup on top and then spin it over and then push it through. But I think you'll get the picture. Again, 8 grams for every 100, 100 mils of water. And we're going to do exactly 8 grams right into here. There you go. Right there. So that's 8 grams per 100 mils. Now you can see the coffee is being held by the plunger element upside down. I'm going to use the funnel and hold it above and I'm only going to pour a very small amount of water into the AeroPress. Roughly 100 mils. Again, I take my, my paddle and I stir the coffee around so it gets fully infused. The coffee and the water are fully infused together. I pre-soaked my paper filter and I screw that on top, nice and tight. Then I take my coffee cup, put it over the top, just like this. And you can see the grounds of co coffee grounds inside the AeroPress. That's fine. We're going to push it out at the very end when we clean. Flipping it upside down, I push through exactly as fast as, as I did the other time without waiting for it to infuse. You've already had an infusion period of about a minute by it sitting in the water. I push it all the way through, hearing the bubbles go through and the air finishing off the coffee, making a nice clean cup of coffee. Again, unscrew the filter head, the basket head, excuse me, take the paper off. You can recycle this paper if you'd like and use it two or three times. You're not just bound to only use it once. And you push through, A for away in the bin. You're clean and ready to go for your next one.